Okay, so, so far we have reached here. Now let's move forward, okay? So this looks uh, like donut, but kind of metal donut. It doesn't have mm, kind of good material. So we're gonna create something more realistic. Uh, to do that, we're gonna go to material preview mode first, okay? If you switch to that mode, you're gonna see the actual color. So the color is white right now, okay? For both donut and icing. Now, let's click one. Uh, click on donut first and then go to this material properties. Click on new. After that, we have this base color. Click here, choose one color. Okay, whatever color you want, you can decrease or increase the brightness here or darkness, whatever you call it, and go back to base color to apply it. So this is the donut. Now click on icing, same here, go to material properties, click new, choose base color. Should be like this. Okay, and click base color. So this is the color we have achieved. Okay. Now let's go to another mode, which will take you. I mean. Uh, which will let you uh, let you see the actual the actual result, the rendered result. Okay, that's uh, render preview mode. Okay, so we have more uh, you know lighting and shadow. You might have noticed this is how it looks right now. If you rendered this, right? If you rendered this image. Okay, so um, what we're gonna do now is go to add mesh and plane. That's gonna add a new surface, okay, plane surface. And to make it sit just uh, on the bottom of the donut, we're gonna uh, turn on this snap, snapping and go to face nearest, okay. Now, click on the uh, plane grab by pressing G and if you go down it will snap here and click now turn off the snap you don't need it okay now still it doesn't uh, shows uh, it doesn't show any um, shadow because because of the angle of the light okay it's too far way up and kind of straight up so we're gonna click on it grab by click uh, pressing G and bring it down and to an angle so that it can so that it can show I mean it, it can cast a shadow a long long shadow okay so Basically, it's kind of uh, casting shadow, uh, so it looks like this, but the shadow looks weird. If we even go further down, the shadow is going to look weird, okay? Because of like this kind of empty space it's creating, because that's not supposed to happen especially like this okay this space is not something we want so what we're going to do is it's because uh, we the um the default render engine if you go to here this thing render probably the render engine is ev if we go to cycles we don't need to do anything but it takes a lot of time and it might not support, might not be supported by your 
um, hardware, the computer hardware. So I'm going to switch to EV, which is default in Blender, so so that I can teach you how to do this. So for now, first of all, we'll go to this optic data properties, which is which is available because I have selected the lamp or light. And we're going to change the power from 1000 to about 100. Okay. Now you can see the color properly. Before it was too light, too bright. Okay. Now we can see the color properly. And we're going to work with this shadow. Now we're going to render properties again and if you go to shadows uh, we have cube size so we're going to change the cube size from 512 to 4096 this is making the shadow a little uh, better by reducing the you know the rough edges of the shadow now we're going to do one more thing let's go to the light the lamp and go to shadow you're going to see this bias drag it all the way down to zero zero point zero zero one okay so that's going to make the shadow look even better okay now we got we're good with the shadow now let's go to this material thing choose the icing let's go to this material properties and there's something called subsurface click and drag Okay, zoom in, click and drag very slowly, gradually. And you can see that it looks like kind of transparent thing, which, uh, which we need for this icing, okay? A little bit. And we're gonna add sur surface, subsurface color so that we get the uh, desired result any color you like okay okay maybe a little darker okay so that's how it looks we're gonna make it even better by going to where is that roughness and we're going to go to decrease the roughness now you can see it looks very smooth and kind of sticky or whatever you call it it looks shiny so the icing would be looking shiny and smooth okay that's what roughness to uh, does you can always change okay according to your desire so um that's what we are trying to achieve for right now uh if there's anything okay let's go to render properties again and uh, we're gonna go to uh, ambient occlusion. You'll notice the thing. Uh, okay, if you go to uh, this light again, lamp or light, whatever you call it, you can decrease the power to maybe around 50 and or maybe increase it to 150 okay um, 
and you, you're gonna go to render properties again and if you go to ambient occlusion okay now you can see that this dark part of you know the bottom of the donut is achieved okay I think it looks better with uh, low power maybe or that's the same thing let's keep it 150 um, yeah we can just uh, adjust the position of it lamb we can always adjust this okay so for now we have achieved this much and I think it's not bad uh, the shadow is too long right now so maybe we don't need that long shadow but it's making the uh, the donut the dark donut the dark part donut too dark so I'm gonna bring this a little up so that it looks less uh, strong I mean, I mean the light the light looks too strong to me so yeah so now it's okay I guess this looks good this looks good okay so so far I guess I have covered everything except one thing the screen space reflection if you click here this is gonna create a kind of reflection the glow the glowing reflection okay and now if you press control alt and zero on number pad okay that's gonna uh, fix the camera uh, the angle of the camera the position of the camera and now if you go to render and render image it's gonna show the actual image you're gonna see after getting rendered so this is how it looks right now okay maybe you can change the color of the this surface this table or whatever the plain surface and you're gonna get a better result okay like this okay see that's better okay okay so I think that's pretty good for this part um, I will show more on next part on next video till then you just keep practicing whatever you learned in this video